boom, magic, man. You're gonna start getting matches like crazy, I'm telling you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. What we're gonna be doing today basically is I am going to be giving you advice on which dating apps you should get in 2019. Before we start this video out, I wanna make a quick disclaimer. I am not sponsored by any of these dating apps, okay? Uh, a lot of you guys were saying that I was sponsored by Hinge in my last video, but no, I wasn't, and, and I wish I was, you know? <laughs> that would be dope. Hinge, I'm just putting it out there. If you wanna sponsor me, your boy's waiting on you, man. Let's do it, I'm down, let's partner up. But for real, um, I'm not sponsored by any of these dating apps. The only reason why I'm doing this, give you guys an idea on which dating apps you should be using because, you know, it can be confusing sometimes. I wanna save you guys some time because let's be honest, there's so many of them out there and I don't want you guys to go through all of them. Your boy is here to hook you up. All right, let's just get right into it. In 2018, we, we had talked about Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, and OkCupid. Those were the four dating apps that uh, I, I spoke about and I gave you guys advice on. So what's going on with those dating apps? Does Tinder still work or do any of these dating apps still work? The most popular ones are Bumble and Tinder. So if you guys have been using these dating apps and if you have been not getting any matches, here is a very useful tip right off the bat. What you gotta do is go ahead and delete the app, delete Tinder and Bumble. We actually did this with Bumble, but um, you can try it with both. So delete both of the apps and then you'll sign up again. You'll, you'll get it again and you'll upload all the pictures and boom, magic, man. You're gonna start getting matches like crazy, I'm telling you. One of my roommates and I, we just did it yesterday because I wasn't getting matches on Bumble at all. And I was like, yo, what the heck is going on? And most of you guys probably remember the algorithm I talked about in my last video. So do this and let me know if it actually is working for you too. So there are a few dating apps I reviewed for you guys. And you know, I didn't really have too much hope honestly when I, when I got these apps because they're just highly advertised, man. Okay, let's start with Clover. Clover is one of the apps that I have been seeing on Snapchat, on YouTube, all the ads are about Clover. So I went ahead and, and got the, the app. Right off the bat, the first thing that the app asks you is to sign up for a premium membership. You sign up weekly, monthly, and yearly. I think it's like 30 bucks for a week. But it gives you a free, free trial, which I did. Honestly, I, I, I didn't wanna pay for the app. I'm not gonna get into details too much. I did not like the app because I thought there were a lot of catfish on there. Was not getting any matches or, you know, even if I got matches, I, I honestly thought that those people were catfish. You guys can give it a try. I don't wanna, you know, talk bad on the app. But in my opinion, it's not the best app out there at the moment, even though it's very highly advertised. All right, second of all, POF, plenty of fish. Now this app, gave me so much headache, bro. I, when I when I was signing up, it was asking me so many things. I had never come across a dating app that would ask me so many questions. And this app literally wanted to know what my mom's name was, and no, I'm just kidding, but for real. Long story short, it asks you a lot of things when you sign up. Now, is it worth it? I went on there and I started swiping. I got a few matches, but I, uh, I honestly think that it's not very popular yet and it's so confusing. The whole surface and the platform is just very, very confusing. When you're looking for a date, you just don't wanna go through this process, man. You wanna go on there, start swiping and then get matches, you know? And it's it's just, it was complicated. The whole surface of the app was, was very complicated. Did not like it, but maybe you guys will, you know, love it. The next dating app we're gonna be talking about is Coffee Meets Bagel. What? Is the actual name like Coffee Meets Bagel? That's the name of the app. Okay, so I was like, yeah, you know what? I, it, it seems pretty popular. Just let's just give it a shot. Why not? I went ahead and I signed up. I honestly think that I have so many dating apps on my phone that I'm just like so confused. Like I don't even know which one to start swiping on. But I started swiping on this app too, and you got beans, man. You got these beans, these coffee beans. So what you can do with those coffee beans is you can use them to um, get on top of the list, you know, to get featured and to like get more matches and to be able to message girls and all that. 
I was like, dude, I, this is not good, man. Like, I don't really like the system. You know, and they obviously have premium features. They want to make money, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I did not like it. Um, you guys might like it. I honestly want to know which one you actually like the most out of all the ones that I've said so far. Because none of these three dating apps have worked out for me. I don't think they work. But maybe they do, so maybe you just go and try them out, but it's just my opinion, you know, it's very, very subjective. So if you want to try them out, go ahead and try them out. All right, so the last dating app I want to talk about, and I got a lot of shit for this dating app when I talked about it, because you thought I was sponsored by this dating app, but I really wasn't, and I'm, I am still not sponsored as I said it. You guys ready for this? Drum roll. And the app that I'm talking about is Hinge. Hinge, Hinge is the, is the shit. It's literally the best dating app I have ever tried and the best luck I've, I've ever had on any of the dating apps. And I'm not saying this because I want you guys to go get it. I'm just saying it because it has been working out for me like crazy. The reason why I'm, I wanted to talk about Hinge is because it's such a great dating app, dude. Like I have taken out multiple girls from this app and all these these dates were pretty freaking good i'm not gonna lie you know they either end up being uh just fun and just like you know like messing around or just you know i have gained friendships out of this app i have met a lot of amazing girls and i really think you should go and give it a shot man like i'm i really do think because if you really are serious about dating and if you're trying to find your significant other that's what you gotta do, man. Go and check out Hinge. And I don't think they have been getting enough attention. And I really do think that this app is, is the best out there at the moment. Um, it doesn't matter if we're talking about 2018 or 19, they're actually getting more popular now in 2019. So this is the time when you should go on there and check it out. I'm not gonna get into too much detail because I had talked about the whole surface and the platform of the app, which is amazing in my previous video. The best thing about Hinge is that it gives you so much freedom. I'm like, what do I mean by that? So even though you only have 10 likes a day, so you don't have unlimited likes, you have 10 likes. So you're, you're able to like 10 girls. And after that, you have to wait 24 hours to, to regain those likes. But the good thing about it is if any of these girls uh, on the app, any like literally anyone on the app decides to like you, they like you and then you will see it on your phone and then you can match with them then you can start a conversation you don't have to buy like anything you have to purchase anything you don't have to upgrade to a premium membership you can just start talking to them so it gives you so much freedom and the platform is very very easy to use the whole surface of the app is great you know it's it's uh it's amazing and and it's very insightful you actually get to know these girls a little better because they have to answer a few questions about themselves and last time i talked about hinge was very new to me because that's when i started using it and you know i told you guys that i had not taken anyone out from there uh, but the, the scenario is different now because I actually took girls out and I can tell you that these girls are not fake These girls are real. The most annoying thing about all these other dating apps is that There's so many catfish out there so many catfish girls dude, and you just don't know who's real who's not so you know, speaking of hinge, it's very, very easy to tell if someone is real or not. I had not come across a catfish on hinge yet, which is very positive. A lot of people saying that like it's hard to find girls on these dating apps. I have been taking out so many girls. Like, here's your chance, man. Just go on hinge and check it out. Uh, you know, that's the best dating app of 2019, in my opinion. Now you guys can say anything. I've been reading your comments, and it's been fun. You know, I've been laughing my ass off because you guys. You guys are funny, man. I want you guys to comment down below. You know, I leave these comments because you make me laugh, dude. You guys uh, actually are very useful too sometimes. So make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite dating app is uh, in 2019. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Also guys, make sure you comment down below what you want to see next. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button and like this video up guys because I am coming out with some great content. Thank you one more time. You guys have a beautiful day and until next time, see ya.